Lesson 6-1, quadratic expressions, rectangles, and squares. Fact number one, quadratic expressions are of degree two. That means that the highest power of any of the terms is going to be two. Fact two, standard quadratic form looks like this. A x squared plus B x plus C. That's the standard form as long as A is not equal to zero because you, you have to have a term that has a second degree or a power of two. Fact three. The product of two linear expressions is a quadratic expression. All right, so now let's take a look at an example where we take two linear expressions and we end up with a quadratic expression. Now, to do this, we're going to move to a rectangle. Very, very simple application. We're going to look at length times width, algebraically. Andrew's swimming pool is a pink rectangle, 50 meters by 20 meters, with a walkway W meters wide all the way around the pool. Write the total area of the pool and walkway in standard quadratic form. All right, so here's the pool and here's the walkway, okay? And the walkway's width is the same the whole way around. It's W meters. All right, so let's figure out how long is it from this corner of the walkway down to this corner of the walkway. A W and then 20 meters and then another W. So it's two W's plus 20 meters this way. And then from this corner over here to this corner right here it is well, there's W plus 50 plus another W, so it's 2W plus 50 meters long. So there's the width, there's the length. Now, we're supposed to write the area. Hmm. The area of this pool is going to be its length times its width. Now, both of these are linear expressions. They're to the first degree. They're linear. You multiply two linear expressions together, you will get a quadratic expression. And that's what we want to do. We want to make sure that it's in standard form. So, we're going to go ahead and take the length, which is 2w plus 50. And I'm going to multiply that times the width, which is 2w plus 20. All right, we're going to have to take everything inside this first quantity times everything inside this second quantity. So it's the distributive property for us. We'll take 2w times 2w, and we'll get 4w squared. Now we'll take that 2w times this 20, and we'll get 40w. Then we'll take this 50 times the 2w, and we'll get 100. 100 W and then we'll take the 50 times the 20 and we will get a thousand. All right now we simply add like terms. The only terms that can be added are these two center terms and we'll get 4 W squared plus 140 W plus 1000 and that is standard form. Remember, standard form is AX squared plus BX plus C. And in this case, the A is equal to 4. The B is equal to 140. And the C, the constant term, is just simply 1,000. That is your C.